I shouldn't be doing a video, but I had an idea and I really wanted to do it and I had to explain to you my idea, so we're gonna do it. Now, you know, we've been using TLP's cell activators and I have a whole video, <laughs> I have a whole video on how to do it. And lately, Shelly has been mixing um, like two paints and piggies with the Australian Floatrol instead of using the matte gel and clear gel. Well, I just got this <clears throat> Tri Art Interference Turquoise Tube and it's quite thick. So, first of all, Tri Art is a Canadian company, so um, I'm not sure in the States where you could get it. Um, even using Amsterdam might be okay. I'm not a big fan of the Amsterdam interferences in the pouring medium, but they could be okay for the cell activator. But I wanted to give this a try anyways. So, uh, I'm gonna use Lagoon, okay? So basically, I'm just going to disperse this Lagoon into my flow draw and add my two paints to make it just a regular thickness as I would. So let's do that. I'm not gonna talk anymore. You'll just watch me. I don't even know what colors I'm using yet. See you in a second. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm actually gonna do use Mermaid because it's <clears throat> a lot more sparklier than Lagoon and I really wanna up my sparkle factor. So I'm just gonna add, I'm not measuring, okay? Because I don't care to measure. But just about the same amount I would put in my pouring medium into my four ounce cup. Now, I don't want to add too much Floatrol at first. Mm. I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to put a little bit. Now, the color is going to dull slightly. That's okay. There's stickers again. So, I'm just mixing carefully. And then once we look at how it's looking, we can decide how you want to go from there. It's not looking very exciting, but the flow trial does dry clear. So you will get some of that sparkle. And you want to make sure all of those... Um, things are melted. You don't want any like um, crumbs left. <coughs> Excuse me. So, all right, we're pretty mixed in. And right now, it's like a pretty thick consistency just because of the powder. But, so I would say in this four ounce cup, I probably just added like an ounce of the flow draw. So it's a I put in a high ratio of the piggy to flow draw because I didn't want to dull it too much. So here's this. I'm just gonna add a dollop of that. And I'm trying to get as close to my regular consistency as possible. So it's shiny nice. Still water, too watery for me, so I'm going to keep adding it until I like the thickness of it. Put this out of the way. I hope you guys don't mind my voice. I apologize, but you know, when I got to paint, I just got to do it. So it's looking smooth. All right, 
It's getting there. You know what? It's still too thin for me. So you do have to use a lot of two paint, like just the regular amount, but especially because these interference two paints are still thinner than regular two paints. So you gotta keep that in mind. There are easier ways, especially if you're not using sparkly pigments. All right, we're gonna try with that. You know what? One, two. It's like still too thin for me, but do I, I don't wanna like, you know, use my whole tube and it, I think it could work. And it will especially work if I layer um, a colored cell activator underneath. Like if I make a Payne's gray cell activator and put it underneath, it will look good. But I like the looks of this. So I should mix up a paint. So let me quickly mix up a Payne's gray, which will be much faster and easier. Again, I don't measure, but it's just much easier. I eyeball about three to one. <clears throat> and then I already have my colors. I'm not gonna do like crazy colors because I really just wanna see, but I do see it's really sparkly in this light. So I think we're gonna have a really nice sparkly cell activator. You've got to mix your cell activator for a good minute till it all incorporates. <clears throat> oh God, if Elliot comes down here, he's going to kill me because I'm talking <laughs> and doing a video. Okay. Let's see. Um, one, two, three. It's a little too thin for me. I like it to go for about five seconds before it comes back. Uh, it's okay, like I think it's too thin. Uh, like slightly, like we just need it like just a touch more. And that's why I say you measurements really don't mean anything because your consistency changes with the weather changes with so many things. Okay. That's better. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's probably where I like it. Okay. Enough chattering here. So. My pillow paint is thickened up a bit. Let's hope there's no bloops. So, I don't even, I hope I can blow. My blow might be like crazy, but we don't care, right? Because it's more about what it looks like, how the cell activator works. I'm not expecting <laughs> an amazing bloop right now. But I just really have to do this. I'm just getting a bloop off. All right. Okay. <coughs> Boo play. <laughs> All right, so for fun, why don't we start with TLP Latte. Okay. Then we'll go. Liquitex Prism Violet. Okay. I'll go. TLP Sequins. Oh, maybe a little too thick. Okay. Um. Then I'll go. Um. Golden Thalo Turquoise. Okay. 
For funsies, why don't we do a little of the sockeye, TLP, I had a leftover. Okay, and I'll top it with <clears throat> indigo. I hope this works. <laughs> Ready? Oh wait, uh, so I'm gonna do my um, Payne's Gray first. Just a bit. Okay. Sparkle's really pretty. When you use these metallic cell activators, they take a longer time to form their cells and they make bigger, rounder cells. So we're gonna give her a minute before we spin her out. <clears throat> I really, while well, we're waiting, it's, I don't know if you can see this light. It's so sparkly. I really am enjoying it. See, like, so something like this, because I'm letting it grow, is going to be huge. I don't know whether you like that or not. It might, it would bother me. Um, <laughs> Colors are good though, I might try it again. We'll see what happens when I spin it out. Move these out of the way. It's definitely something to play around with. I'm gonna get her back to the middle a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna start spinning. Oops, hold on. Mm. I definitely like the colors, the indigo on top. I'm not sure if I'm loving it. So maybe I'm gonna switch it up again. Cause I thought it would like play off nicely, but I'm not sure. Oops. So I might try another one. But, you know, it's working. Is, is it amazing? No. Um, because, like, like I said, those metallics, you don't get those juicy. You know what I'm gonna show you? I'm gonna show you now doing it first and the Payne's Cray on top to see the difference <coughs> of your cells. It's a good idea. Nice little learning, right? Um, it's okay, it's not like floating my boat and it's sinking into the Payne's Cray. So you're not really seeing um, how awesome it is, you know? Mm. All right, let's give her a break for a minute and we're gonna switch up. But you can see the sparkles there, but you can't really tell what's happening. Unless I do, you know what I could also do because I have a white cell activator mixed up. Do a triple cell activator. All right, let me move this to the side. Okay, I wasn't 
crazy about that blue. I did like the idea. So I'm gonna try again. And you know what else I'm gonna do? <coughs> I'm gonna use this pillow paint. Guess what, Sean Williams, they're getting them back, which is exciting. So I can use my stash. This is actually from last year. Okay. Should we triple cell activator it? I don't know if I'm loving all those colors together. I don't know if the indigo blue is doing it for me. So. And I didn't see much of the, um, we're just gonna switch it up and just Kind of go with whatever. Here's the sock eye. Okay. Here's the violet. We could do latte. Let's see. Um. Do phthalo turquoise. <coughs> um, and I will do a bit of sequins. And I'm going to top it with Australian red violet. It's a little thick. Okay. Now, should I triple cell activator it? Why not? We're crazy, right? Um, let me see here. Okay. She might be a little thick. Let's see. Here's my white. It's pretty thick, but I don't mind her being too thick. We're gonna go black, white, um, mermaid. And I'm putting the mermaid over the thicker white cell activator. Let's see how that goes, right? Okay, so we have to go fast. Payne's gray. White. Huh. Mermaid. few spots here. We'll see if we like these cells better. Although it looks like I really blew too hard on this one. This could have been a total waste, but not really. I mean, I might like the three cell activator. I just have to blow better. You know what I mean? I like these colors. Definitely. Oh, I didn't think, you know why? Cause I, I switched my pillow. I didn't realize I, cause this pillow that I'm using now is thinner than the one. So I was blowing like I would normally blow and not paying attention <clears throat> to how thin this pillow is. So you always have to be aware of that too. So. No wonder, I didn't know why I was blowing up so much pillow. Okay, I don't like it. Uh, we're gonna do it again, and I'm gonna blow softer. Again, thanks for sticking with me, but I do like what I did. Sure, are you guys gonna get mad at me if I ruin this? You know what? <laughs> I don't want you guys to get mad at me. Let me, I'll spit it out, just in case. You know what I mean? You guys always yell at me when I like, you know, trash things. It could be pretty. Now that middle part's gonna continue to shrink. Oh, it's cute, actually. Right? She's a, she's a cutie. I think 
so. Again, like the pillow situation, kind of bothering me, but. <clears throat> the colors are pretty. All right. I'm happy with her. I'll do it again without the pillow coming up. Maybe on a bigger one to get like the best of the colors, but I'm going to save her. Should we do one more? Let's see if I can do a better job, even though I like her. Yeah. All right, let me put her away. I'm going to grab another canvas and I will be right back. Okay, I got a 14 inch. I have to remember how I did that. And I'm gonna try to grow better into this thinner pillow. The reason it's thin is because this is a deep base pillow, which people usually add color to. But I actually like the thinner consistency because it <clears throat> flows a little better. It's just a different, more flowy look. I'm not gonna put too much on because she's gonna spin. Okay. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I uh, always appreciate it if you have. I'm sorry if my voice is super annoying. I'll just get this so she'll spin. Okay. I'll try to go fast. So I think I started with this. A negative space would be nice, but whatever at this point, I don't care. Okay, so that's salmon. Sockeye, not salmon. Um, and I think I went to violet. Okay. And I think I did, did I do this? I don't know, whatever, latte. Then I think I did Yellow turquoise. Then I think I did a bit of sequins. Oops, there's a blob in there. <clears throat> then I topped it with this, which is also quite thick. So I think part of the trick is using a double cell activator and making it a little thicker maybe. Even though I'm doing triple on this one, um, to hold up, see how that flows so fast. This is gonna spin right off when I blow. Okay. <clears throat> Whew. Blow gently. Okay, we're going like this. Okay, I don't know if it was as good as my smaller one. We'll see. So 
Oh, the shape isn't horrible. Um, I might, because you know how I hate big, huge cells. This is what I might, and this is just personal preference. Like, these guys are just going to grow like crazy. I'm not interested in giganto cells, personally. These are really cool peacock looking cells, but you know. Just a little interest, like something like this. Okay. Oh. All right, let's get her to the middle. Is this gonna bother me? Probably. Mm -hmm. This will probably bother me. All right. <clears throat> For some reason, <clears throat> I think I like the cell activator better than the smaller one. Um, it was kind of more apparent maybe. Although, I mean, this is like a cool looking bloom. I don't know, you guys will tell me in the close up. Uh, when you see the close up, what you think. I did really like that first one, that second one I did. The sparkle looks really nice. But you see how you get such huge cells? So it depends if that's the type of look that you like, you know? Um, all right, well, you know, whatever. I did my best on this one. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you think. Did you like? The first one I wasn't even a fan of, so don't even bother. However, what do you like better, the smaller one of this or the bigger one? Um, love you guys. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye.